Are you tired of ready-made jewelry? Let's make unique earrings from available materials. We'll make the first earrings, shaped like softballs, using knitting yarn. Take some paper to make a base. Crumple it to get a tight ball. Make two of the same details. Now, take lime green yarn. Start winding it around the paper to shape a ball. Hot glue the winds as far as needed. When you cover all the paper, you can finish winding. Cut off the excess. Hot glue the end. Make another earring in the same way. Tuck jewelry pins into the ball imitating knitting needles. Snip off the excess. It's time to attach ear studs. The hot or universal glue works well. We've spent just 10 minutes to enrich your jewelry collection with a new item. It's a perfect idea for unusual jewelry lovers. You'll get another exclusive accessory using one more non-standard idea. Take two big zipper sliders and ear studs. Drop the hot glue onto the slider back. Attach an ear stud. Repeat for the other earring. Just a few minutes and one more awesome jewelry is ready. Everyone will see your sense of humor when you wear the funny slider earrings. You can paint the accessory if you wish. In this project, we'll make gorgeous ethnic earrings using the soutache technique. To start with, we'll need red felt, super glue, and oval-shaped coral cabochon. Lay cardboard as a protecting cover. Super glue the cabochon to the felt. Press down well. Be careful to attach the edges. Sew down golden seed beads around the stone. Alternate the light and dark beads, stitching the two at once. Pass the needle between the beads. Thread the last one. Sew down the next two beads. When you've finished with the beads, thread them all again to look neat. Pull up the thread on top of the stone. Cut out three 17-inch pieces of soutache braid cord, two golden and one dusty white. Place the golden cord around the beaded stone, pulling the ends upward. Sew down, concealing the stitches on the front side. Carefully cut out the felt around it using nail scissors. Place the second golden cord in the same way. Sew it down to the first, soutache stitching in the center of the braid. Fasten the dusty white cord in the same way. Sew down the ends. Put a red seed bead into the center. Fasten a big bead to the right. Wind it around with three cords, stitching each in turn. Pass the needle twice through the bead. Fasten the cord ends to the back. Then add a golden bead. Sew down the three cords. Wind them around the bead and stitch. Fold the ends to the back. Sew them down to fasten off. Make the same curls on the left side. Stitch a golden seed bead at the bottom of the upper curl. Repeat for the other side. Let's make the earring a beaded edge. Sew down a red bead first. 
Attach the golden cord on top. Continue further with the golden bead stitching the cord on top. Add the dusty white braid. Sew it down to the golden cord. Stitch a red bead on the right and make the soutache coil. Fasten the ends on the back. Cut off the excess. Melt the ends with a lighter. Repeat for the left side. The basic part of the earring is ready. Let's make the top. Place a big red bead at the center of a small piece of the golden cord. Sew it down. Add the other golden braid. And the dusty white. Sew down a red seed bead under the big one. Make a curl upwards. Put a smaller bead inside. Fasten the ends on the back. Cut off the excess. And fray check. Make the same coil on the left. To assemble the earring, Pass the needle through the top of the right curl. Thread a golden bead and pierce the right coil of the earring top. Stitch several times to fasten well. Repeat for the left side. Sew down a jump ring to the utmost earring point. Open a ring on the French hook. Put on the jump ring. Close it. Decorate the back as a finishing touch. Trace the felt oval shape on the transfer tape. And the top circle. Cut out the patterns. Cut out the felt details. Hot glue the cord ends to the base. Attach the oval felt. Then the top circle. Make the second earring in the same way. The exquisite ethnic earrings will perfectly complete your evening outfit or become a fabulous gift. In our tutorial, we'll craft delicate handmade beaded earrings. So we've chosen blue beads. We also need wire. Bend it in half and thread four beads. Take the fifth one and pull wire in from both ends from different sides of the bead. Pull them up. Both wire parts need to be equal in size. We've got the first flower-shaped beaded element. Thread two beads on one wire end, the right one in this case, and one bead on the other, the left one. Take a bead again. Pull the wire in from both sides and pull up. Continue this way. We've beaded flowers around. Keep in mind there are two beads on the right and one on the left. The weaving curves gradually due to this beading scheme. You need much patience for that. The details are not too small, so beginners can easily learn this technique. 
Okay, we've nearly finished. The earring consists of seven beaded flowers. Let's secure it. Take the left wire end and thread the closest left bead. Take another bead and pull the wire in from both sides. We already know how to do it. Pull up the wire and secure the element. We need a French hook. Twist both ends. Pass the wire through the hook loop. Wrap the attachment point tightly. Remove the excess wire by twisting it several times. It will break easily. You can also use cutting pliers as well. Make another earring in the same way. You can wear these delicate blue beaded earrings either every day or on special occasions. They will add romance and charm to your image. This tutorial is about how to make long flower earrings on a chain. We'll need flat pliers, round nose pliers, cutting pliers, blue marine fabric, jewelry supplies, metal charms, beads, and chain. Take the fabric and cut out a small piece. Cut out a petal shaped detail for the base. Melt the edges carefully. Make about a dozen of similar details. Take several elements and fold together. Add more details from time to time. Start sewing down from one side. Fasten some more elements. Make another earring base in the same way. Hide a supply pin inside and hot glue. Repeat for the second base. Put a cone cap on the pin. Cut off the excess. Make a loop. Fasten the other earring in the same way. Take a pin, cut off the head. Make a loop at the end. Put on a cap and beads. Cut off the excess. Make a loop at the end. Open a jump ring and put on a metal charm. Add the beaded detail. Close the ring using the tools. Cut the chain into two equal parts. Put one part on the base. Add the beaded detail to the other end. Repeat for the second earring. You only need to put on the French hooks. Cool! These delicate flower earrings will add romance to your image. They can also become a perfect unforgettable gift. Today, we'll make unusual glass earrings. We need flat pliers, cutting pliers, round nose pliers, a geographical map image, glue for the glass, beads, jewelry supplies, glass lenses, metal earring bezels, and a hot glue gun. Take a printed map image, place a lens over it. You can save the image source from the description attachment. Find the proper piece and cut it out. Add some glue to the glass. Attach the picture carefully. Make the second detail in the same way. Take a metal bezel and add some glue in the center. Attach the lens carefully and press down. Make the second earring in the same way. Put beads on decorative pins. Cut off the excess. Make loops. Open the loops and put on the earrings. Attach the charms in the same way.
Attach the hook clasps. These peculiar map earrings will attract travelers' attention. Have you got a couple of vivid cords and beads? Let's craft bunch earrings spending just five minutes. Prepare thin silk cords of rainbow colors. Tie a knot. Trim the ends. Thread beads onto the cord pieces and tie knots at the ends. Make a loop on top. Fasten it with another cord winding around. Use hot glue to secure. Cut off the excess. Wind another cord. We've got the multicolor bunch earrings ready. The finishing touch is to put on jump rings and French hooks. These lovely beaded earrings will cheer you up even in nasty weather. In today's tutorial, we will show you how to craft an unusual metal earring shaping snowflakes. We'll need white acrylic paint, French hook ear wires, decorative pins, acrylic lacquer, blue powder coat, a snowflake metal earring base, beads, and tools. Cover a metal earring base with white acrylic paint. Coat both sides. Mix bright blue powder coat with white acrylic lacquer. Cover the earring base with the mixture. We've chosen delicate light supplies to get large but unheavy earrings. Add some more powder at the edges. Paint the base from the back. Do the same with the other earring. Take large dark blue beads and thread them on the decorative pins. Make coils from both sides. Attach the beads to the bright blue snowflakes. Secure the French hooks. Finish by decorating the earrings with small beads. Use a hot glue gun. We've got stylish winter-themed earrings. Let such elegant statement snowflake earrings make your image unique. The last pair of earrings is both complicated and intricate. Thread beads on pins, alternating color and size. Make a loop at the end. Use the round nose pliers. We'll need four details, two per each earring. Open the loops and join the details. Wind a piece of wire around a brush handle to shape a spiral. Put a bead element inside the spiral. Fasten the spiral by passing the wire through the loop. Pass a piece of thinner wire through the earring loop, fold it in half, and wind around the loop to secure the beads. You can fasten the middle of the earring in the same way to keep it unshaken and tight. You need to just put on French hooks. The exquisite swirl design of these beaded earrings will perfectly emphasize your individuality and make you unforgettable at any party. Your friends will surely appreciate these gorgeous long earrings and might be surprised to know you have made the jewelry yourself. Feel free to leave your comments, subscribe to the Troom Troom channel to learn more exclusive low-cost jewelry ideas and make splendid accessories together quickly and easily.